Hi all, it's Ash Brown again, the founder of Impira, and I apart welcome to the community and welcome to our session today on how to connect Impira up to your current tech stacks. So it's really one of the questions we get a lot is how do you connect to your current tech stack? People have everything from from Salesforce, HubSpot, Safety Culture, Spreadsheets, Zero, um, QuickBooks pretty much everything. So what we tried to do is we tried to use a API instead of your typical native integrations. Native integrations for a product like ours that's supposed to connect to hundreds of thousands of different apps can get really, really complex and really, really uh, slow us down. And we're, we all lean into simplicity here at Impira. So it's a lot easier for us to build out a integration via Zapier and um, an API. So we, we thought we'd show today how this works and be able to go over it and give you an example of how, how it works and how you can make incredible workflows from your current data that you've got stored in other apps and measure it against your strategy. As we've showed in previous sessions, that against using a, a typical um, strategy, once again, it's very, very stagnant, very, very static. And this allows you to have a, you know, live environment allows you to, to see in real time what's actually happening with your strategy. So let's have a look here. So we've got here on this page here, we've got imperia.com slash API on this page here, we've got, um, uh, invitation to Zapier. So if you click on here, you'll be invited to use the, the zap that we've already created. The reason why we've used Zapier is because honestly, it's the most popular in the world and their security is like no other. So for us, it's a really, it's a, it's a smart way of going about it. So if you ever need to use the, the Zapier integration, there it is there. Zapier is free and it's um, up to 150 zaps, I think a month. So if you're using more than that, then, um, then it's, it's pretty cost effective as well. So, so if we, if we look here, we've got that. Everyone that signs up to Impira gets a, a developer portal. So it, it's developer.impira.net. In here, you'll see like little goodies like the API connections. So if you are technically minded, you can see that you can actually create your own integrations here um, into Impira. Um, if you're not, it's it's fine too. <laughs> we keep it really, really simple. So um, if you have a look here in your profile, you'll have your name, your API keys here, but also all the accounts that you sit on. So these are tenancy IDs and you'll need that to set up your, um, your Zapier connections. So if we go back to here um, and we go into Zapier, you'll be able to see that we've already set up a workflow here, but which one do we want to work on? So let's have a look here. We're working on expand the customer base. That's going to be the one that we work on today. So let's click through to here in the prime innovations one and we want to expand the customer base by 10 new size businesses as we've done in previous videos um, we want to expand the customer base excellent so we want it to go from 90 to 100 over the course of the over the course of the next 12 18 months fantastic so at the moment is expected to do 0.8 which is measured to the real time where you're at now so but we want to connect this up to a spreadsheet. So the reason why we want to connect it up to a spreadsheet is just a, is an example of different apps that you could use for Imperia. So what we've done is we said, okay, we want to connect the spreadsheet up to up to Imperia. Very, very simple one. But if we want to change that, and we've got a CRM like Zoho is there. If we want to go to, if we've got Salesforce, it's there. If we want to go to HubSpot, it's there. So there's thousands of apps available in Zapier that connects directly up to Impira, which is brilliant. So just say we want to start here. Um, we, we name it Google Sheets to Impira, and we'll, we'll name it Webinar. That way we remember what it is. Um, we've got every time that we've got a spreadsheet here, the workflow connections, and it's got date, objective number and the metric that we're measuring because this one here is a, a metric, a metric based objective. So let's go here. So every time it happens on whatever date, so in America, um, it's the third and seventh. So we'll just go with that vice versa in Australia. We pick the account 
and then we pick the trigger. So we pick, okay, this is a spreadsheet. This is the sheet number that we're working with. As you see there, that's the spreadsheet. Use it here, and it'll trigger when any columns updated. So if we go continue, and we go find records, and it'll say row number two, date is here. This is really important because you'll be able to see this soon. Um, the objective number. So the objective number in Impera sits right here at the end. You'll see the, the, these little digits at the end. It will give you the objective number of what your objective number is. That's really important to put into the objective. So it knows. So Impera and the spreadsheet know where it's going. So we're trying to map the, the metric to that. And then we want to, you can see here, then we've got metric, which is what, how we're measuring it. So we go next, continue with select records. Now we've, now here you'll see that we will go, um, we select Impera. So we select Impera because we've got the invite. So they'll automatically go into your account. We can go in account. So we can see Prime Innovations is the one that we've used, which is right here, Prime Innovations. And then also too, if you want to change it, it's actually if you're willing to add a new connection, you could you can um you could quite easily change it. And then what you can do is add a new connection. You'll see this little come up here. So if you want to add your own, which you will. So he's got the the API key. So if we go here to to this page, you'll have an API key here, which I won't show obviously. And then it'll have the tenant ID. So you might want to pick. Um, so no, Nova launch. You want to connect it up to that. So that's that's your, that's how you do that. So it's really. So then once it's set, that's that's logged into Zapier. You only need to do that once. Then we go continue. So here we go. Here, see. So what we want to do is the objective ID is here. So this will pull into this objective. So we're trying to we're telling. Zapier to grab from this objective and put into this objective. This is that. And then we get, we want the date, so we, it, that's required. So every time you update the date here, it will pull into here and it'll update the date here. So you can see all these, it will update all into June, July, that. And then also here, you've got the metric, which is here. So we, that's the value. So if we go continue, so you can see here the start date, the end date. Now, if we go retest, now if we go into Impera now, let's refresh this. And the two has moved into there. So this will, every time there's, there's a change, it will refresh. So if we want to put another one in here, let's just go um so you can see here that it's it's retested so we want to publish that so there we go publish so every time there's a change it will start pulling it through now we can transfer existing data if it's already in a spreadsheet into it so retro retrofit it back into it um it's yeah really 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 simple that it will just go into here it will go into the metric um and then it'll go directly into here so we can now have a look at it at our Impera here, we can see on our, we're 20% through because we've already done two. Um, we're at 92, which is what we expect it to be. And if we go into the plan, you can see here that we've expended the customer base, click here, boom. Really, really, it, it's a great way just to create simple, easy workflows using Zapier. And the main reason we use Zapier is because honestly, it's the, it's the best tool to do it. We can also create um, other workflows out, which we can, um, I'll quickly demonstrate now. So if we go here, go create a zap. Okay, Impera. Choose an event, so it'll actually get the actuals, or it'll actually send a notification to your Slack. So if we go here, select the account, choose an account, Prime Innovations, continue. 
So we just put a user ID in, continue. So then we get the user ID is you, you'll get that. You know, you test the trigger, it'll push it, and it'll push your your um, uh, notifications out to to Slack. So it's, that's really so you can just go here, and go Slack, or Teams. Teams is a really good one where people like using Teams and it'll connect up to Fingo. So it'll create a channel, create a private message. Um, here, another one is when something's updated, it will pull through. So you can see all these little um, APIs here are all here. So you get your notifications, get your objective ID, get your actual ID. So one of the things you can do also is if we go here, if you want to test, if your API is working. So we go to profile. Let's say we'll, we'll go to, these are all demo accounts, so don't stress too much. So let's say we go to APIs and we wanna just test, no, we wanna post the actuals. We put the tenant ID there and we go send and it'll say it's okay. So it's a great way to test so what you're doing is there, it's saying, okay, well, how's it working? Yes, it's working. And um, say with objectives, we can go here, put the tenant ID, press send, and it's working and it'll give you all the code around it. So if you are technically minded, it's a really a really cool tool to use to, um, to create workflows. So that's a real short 15 minute masterclass in how to do integrations, how to create your own workflows, how to connect it up to your current apps. Zapier is the tool without a doubt. Anything you need, feel free to reach out to me on the community or touch base via email at Ashton Impira. But um, thank you very much.